Hey everybody, it's Amanda, and I'm back with another grocery haul. Okay, so I spent a lot this week. <laughs> well, what I really intended to do was we went to the grocery store after we got back from our trip, and the main thing we intended to get was more fresh foods. So I'd already planned to go to Ingalls and get you know, fruits and vegetables and things because we had eaten it all up before we left on our trip. And so I was more than willing to pay because I wanted to get things that would last. I could have gone to Aldi and gotten things cheaper, but my experience with Aldi produce is it doesn't last very long. And I wanted to kind of stock up on some things that would last. So anyway, so I went to Ingalls. Well, of course, I also went to my discount grocery store because I'm not going to miss out on any deals if I can not avoid doing so, which turned out to be a really good thing because even though I was way under budget when I went to Ingalls, I was way over budget once I went to my discount grocery store because they had some really great deals on meat and I thought, you know what, I have meat, but I also have the money, so let's stock up while we have it. So I'm going to show you what I have and um, show you all the produce that I got at Ingalls and I'm gonna show you all of the great meat deals that I got at the discount store and I got a couple other deals as well. And um, and that'll be that. So let me show you my totals on the board. So you can see I spent $73.93 at my discount grocery store. And if you know me, you know that if I spent that much at my discount grocery store, I got some really good deals. So it's a happiness time. But I only spent $57 even at Ingalls. Total is $130.93. It's got to be one of my bigger grocery hauls ever got to be one of the biggest ones but you know we're stocking up after being away and that's just how it is so let me show you the t the receipts and i'm also going to show you the produce that i got out of my garden when i came home because that's that's like free produce too so receipts free produce and then i'll show you what's on the table okay so here are my receipts and you can see at ingles we spent 57 dollars even and then at my discount store I spent $73.93. Now look, I was so excited to find these cantaloupe, and these are tiny. Like this is a small tomato, and it's not a whole lot bigger than my small tomato. And this one right here is even smaller. Like this is probably the size of a very large tomato. But I was so excited because I did not expect any cantaloupe. And these are a little underripe. So I'm actually going to put them in a paper bag so they can ripen fully. But you guys, I got two cantaloupe and I did not expect any. So that thrills my soul. Uh, but I had four ripe tomatoes and a little ripe uh, baby tomato. And then um, I got a big zucchini that was sitting on my um, zucchini plant. But you know what? I'm excited. I'm going to use it. So this is my... I say free produce, I mean we paid for the plants, but they're paying for themselves at this point. So this is what I had waiting for me, and then this is what we bought. Okay, I went ahead and turned the light on, so hopefully you can see a little more clearly. But anyway, in the front here you can see the produce, and in the back are things I got at my discount store. So um, Ingalls had a watermelon on sale for $3.88, and Rick has been talking about watermelon lately. I'm not sure if it's going to be great or not this time of year, but for $3.88 we were happy to get it, so watermelon $3.88. And we got a bunch of different onions. I usually have a variety hanging out under my counter, but we used all of them before we left. So I got some yellow onions, and these are just some sweet onions, and then red onions these were 285 288 199 and then a little package of garlic for 175 so we grabbed that i also grabbed this bag of sweet peppers for 6.98 we actually got a bag last time and they lasted really well so we thought we would get another one and that's what that is grab some romaine and spinach for salads um, the romaine was $3.98, and the spinach was $5.28. By the way, we grabbed some a big thing of peanut butter. It was on sale for $5.38. Um, Rick wanted some bacon to make another, probably the very last one of the season, bacon tomato sandwich with our fresh garden tomatoes. So I was like, I will get one more 
one more package of bacon and that will be it for the season <laughs> so because we're just about out of tomatoes but it was three dollars and fifty eight cents for the bacon I also grabbed him some lavash bread for two ninety nine cabbage was three dollars even so we're gonna make some coleslaw with that um, Cucumber was 88 cents. I got Planet Oat Oat Milk for $3.58 and $6.98 for these potatoes. So all of that was Ingalls $57 and I fully expected to spend a lot of money on fresh produce from Ingalls. But again, like the onions and the potatoes, they'll last versus if I get it from Aldi, it just doesn't last very long. I, I'm sorry, it's just how it is. So anyway, so that's what we got there. So let's talk about this discount store, guys. You see these things? I'm gonna get to this back here in a minute, but let's start at the front. So first of all, they had these big packages of blueberries. Let's see how many ounces it is. 18 ounces, and this was only $1.50, so I grabbed two. I thought, you know, I could just at least freeze those if we don't eat them. So I also got this Arnold potato bread for $1 for a package. Um, potato rolls, I should say. These are hamburger rolls. And I grabbed this lasagna for $1.50. Um, the Daya gluten-free vegan pizzas. We actually try to keep these in stock just for, when you know, vegan snacks. Um, they were $2 each. So this one is mushroom and roasted garlic. And then I have a meatless pepperoni. And then I have this one. I actually, the box I tore up. This was not torn up in the store when I got it. This was my fault. Um, but anyway, this one is the Supreme with meatless Italian sausage, crumbles, mushrooms, and bell peppers. So I was very glad to get some diet pizzas. And then back here, Rick saw these. He loves, if you do not know this, Rick loves Stubbs barbecue sauce. It's like his favorite. And they had it for $2, which is much less expensive than you get it in the store. So I went ahead, I told him he'd get a couple, so we got two of those, and he is very, very happy. We grabbed this container of sour cream for $1.50. Let's talk about these meat deals. First of all, lamb, $2.99 for a pound, which for, for the record, if I were to buy this at Ingalls, I actually, I should have taken a picture of it, I'll try to do it next time. But when I was looking at the prices for lamb in the store here in the U.S., the store that I was at, uh, Ingle store, it was $14 a pound for lamb. So to get two pounds for $2.99 is a really great deal. And it's good to have a variety of meats. I like to have, I particularly like to make um, lamb meatballs. But anyway, so that is what I'm going to make with that. They also had whole chickens for $3. Now you can see this whole chicken right here was $10.47. This one was $10.63, and this one was $9.83. So these were all whole chickens for $3. I was very, and that's at $1.99 a pound. I mean, th these prices right here, the $10.40, that's at $1.99 a pound. That's not even a terrible price for chicken. But I got them for $3 each. Super great deal, and I did not have any, any whole chickens. Now, these boxes, I'm going to show you what it says on the side here. It says Balter Meat Company, ground beef, 75.25, 8 ounce, uh, for a net weight of 10 pounds beef patties, and we paid $20. So that is going to be $2 a pound, which is very inexpensive for ground beef in our area. This one is a different color. But it says the same thing. Ground beef patty, seventy-five twenty-five. And when you open it up, let me open it up and show you. This is what the patty looks like. These over here are turned over. This is what the actual meat looks like. It's very. It's a. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's actually very dark red. Very attractive looking meat. Um, so anyway, we like to stay stocked on our ground beef, and this is just a really good solid price to get 20 pounds of ground beef so that is what we did we're now stocked with ground beef happy day no worries about shortages here so that is what we actually spent the majority on this was forty dollars of that 75 and then you have that really great chicken deal and the lamb 
and a few of the Daya. So I did not mind spending $70 because now we are super stocked up. I'm just putting it back over here in order. So anyway, so this is our little stock up haul. And believe me, next week will be much smaller now that we have to make up for this in the budget. But I'm still very excited. I like to have it stocked. So that is where we are now. So I'm going to go put all of this into the freezer get my freezer all beautiful and ready and packed and put all the other fresh things away and we're going to have us a delicious fresh dinner because we are so sick of eating <laughs> sandwiches and alternatively fast food which we did not even spend that much money on our trip at all not even close i we actually spent half of the money that i had budgeted so we spent almost nothing and it was such a good idea to pack sandwich things you guys because honestly we didn't we didn't mind eating it when we were there it's just now that we're home it's like okay now let's eat something else but when we were there it was like you're hungry grab a sandwich and everybody was cool with it we had a bunch of snacks everybody was happy the whole time no complaints and we still saved money so it was really really good so that's why I have the extra money that I can go ahead and stock up because the planned money for the vacation we only spent half of it it worked out really well. Anyway, if you haven't seen the videos, we have tons of videos and pictures on Facebook and Instagram, so go check those out. I will be having more um, wedding footage. We're gonna do a video on Wisconsin. We're gonna have all kinds of stuff out there available for you. And by the way, if you wanna stock up on ground beef and you don't have a good store near you, you want high quality ground beef, ButcherBox is still having their uh, free ground beef for life sale. I'll have a link for that down in the description box. You can check that out. It's two pounds of ground beef for life for as long as you have your subscription with them. And uh, it's their best deal. So I'm just throwing that out there. If you don't have a good place near you, you want good meat, that's their best deal. So go for it now. Anyway, all right, I'm going to put all this away. I am still so worn out from our trip. It is not even funny. But I am excited to be home and to get back in the swing of things. So anyway, thank you guys for all of your great wishes during the wedding and all the other things. It's just been such an encouragement. So, all right. You all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.